one big thing, that is the one big goal, what we want to achieve. All of us cannot, as the previous classes we have been doing, they cannot do what they can do, one thing we have to do it properly. So first try to understand, what is the one big goal you need to achieve? When you try to think of on that, you will be able to understand why that goal is very important to you and how you are going to approach it. What are the ways to which you are going to reach that goal? So that's the first thing. You need to have something, normally we say today, I am not an engineering person, but still people speak about prompt engineering. The same way, there should be some prompts in us, which tells us what is that which we need to achieve. So that is called as goal prompt. So when we speak about our own goals, we also need to have an achievement. The same way, life will teach prompt. What is that we have to ahead, which we need to complete, which is something which we have to do it. That is the liability part. For both the things, the ideal way is self-reflection. You need to introspect yourself. You need to understand what you are capable of. What is that you are able to do? What you can contribute? What are the ways you can do it? So the first point is that you need to do a self-reflection exercise. Try to understand on your own. What is that is important to me? How am I going to reach that area? To what ways I can reach it? The second one is seeking suggestions from colleagues. Today, nothing will work in silos. Everybody is interdependent. Everybody has to depend on somebody for some or the other information. So, we try to ask like-minded people, people who are with you, people who are with you, who you are comfortable, try to ask them in what way I can develop myself. What do you think that is the best thing which I can do? So, try to find suggestions from colleagues. This is the next steps for development, wherever we are involved in an organization or an institution. This is the immediate boss, not just to the set or the manager, but it is to the immediate boss. What is that I need to do? I travel this way. I know what I should do. I have identified the path. What's the next stage I need to try? That is the first stage. So when we talk about one's own development, the first point is that usually what is your goal? How are you going to achieve that goal? Try discussing with people. Understand the way and means to which you can reach the goal. Talking to your immediate boss, saying that these are my plans, this is how I'm moving. Is it okay? Is it right inside the organization? And all goals are smart. I think this is very really much uh, debated and discussed. Smart, specific, measurable, achievable, and realistic and time bound. So every goal of each one of us should be based on the smart technique. And we should be clear what is that one big thing which we are supposed to do. The second thing. Fulfilling a leadership role. I think the uh, session what I took, I have given you the different roles of a leader. A leader as a coach, a leader as a mentor, a leader as a change agent, a leader being a visionary, a leader being a servant. There are different roles a leader plays. And believe me, all roles will not fit all of us. We may try to play, but it will not fit all of us. So the first one is try to understand what are the different Roles a leader will play, no matter whichever place they are at. Yeah, what are the different roles available? You could be a mentor, you could be a supervisor, you could be a change agent, you could be a visionary, you could be a strategist. So there are different roles a leader can play. First, the second thing is identify which you are confident. Sometimes you are very good in giving advice, so you become a mentor. You are very good in planning, so you become a strategist. Sometimes you are known for minor changes, so you are a change agent. You have new plans and policies with the updating of technology. You are a strategist. So there are a lot of rules. So the second most point is that we need to understand which, where we are comfortable and confident. That this I can do. Nobody will ask me. I am an expert in this particular area. We call us SME, subject matter expert. Same thing. I am the one who can do this goal. Very good. The third one is which role you want to perform more often. 
are very comfortable. Suppose I'm not good in planning and somebody says you be a strategist. This will not work at all. Rather, I'm very good in motivating somebody, but I'm not allowed to do that. So try to understand the roles which are comfortable for you and try to practice it very often to make you the best inside the organization. The last one. How to make it more stronger? You should be the king. You should be the end result for that particular goal. Nobody else can beat you with that. So you need to find out what are the steps you can take to become a more stronger person in those roles.